All the top Hollywood actors, models, singers, hip hoppers, you name it, is there. And they could be dressed in a disguise. So she was exposed to that. My God, I can't believe it. I can't be a part of that. Oh, what, what you mean you can't be a part of it? If you want your check, you want this Hollywood life, you would be a part of it. And you're not going to share these secrets. She thinks about that. She cried a little bit. They always cry, right? So she said, okay. She goes in this Pandora box, driving this owner, man on her, woman on her. That's nothing, right? She's thinking, I got that over with. So she didn't think it was nothing. She didn't really have to do nothing but me and go kiss a little. She's used to kissing women. Here's the kicker. The three producers, the headliners, the guy who make Hollywood puns like it does, right, bring her to the upper penthouse tomorrow. So she thinking she getting ready to sign a contract. No, they want to pop her in her ass. And this is how they get down. They call it gravy. If you do get hurt, well, <laughs> that's just gravy. Now, now, everybody, other people may know you from Gravy and, and, and your music career. It, has this sparked the acting bug? Are we going to see you in a lot more roles following oh, yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is my newfound love. Music is my passion. And, you know, acting, I'm, I'm definitely getting ready to jump into it. Okay. That's a Hollywood slogan for people who just got popped in their behind. Well, how did it go, man? How's your career going? Oh, I can tell you right now, baby, everything's Gravy. But a lot of people that's got their letters on the fly. And they read all the, the you know, the literature. They have them in a nice little room or a sweet hotel. It's real elegant. They do it really nice. And they let you read that letter and they tell you what you think. I ain't got no problem with this. Okay, sign right here. Now that's the beginning of the rituals of everything that's to come for you. All the doors gonna open for you. All the doors are opening. He ain't ready for what they gonna hit him with. We want you to meet some friends, okay? I want you to take it personal because we know that you, you're about your business and you know how to make that dollar. We just, it's all business. Don't take it personal when you see what's up, right? They take him in this room and there'd be three, four dudes on another guy. And he may know the, he may know that dude in the business. They say, what you're about to see, nobody else know. This is part of the ritual. You are not to speak about this. You're seeing these dudes, transsexual, transgender, and they're all like, lapping this one cat right that's the first test to see if you're gonna buck why i'm telling you that because that's the first thing they did to cat they took cat to all these private parties cat couldn't believe what he was seeing cat rebelled usually before they want to take you to the next level they said let's see what he's gonna think when we take him here a lot of dudes like you know what fuck that ain't got shit to do with me. it's all about the money well it ain't all about the money, because now what you saw done to that guy, it's your turn. And you're going to say, they're going to, hey, come on up in here. No, nah, man, I ain't down for that. Well, do you think we're going to keep paying you $5 million a year? Do you think you're going to be honors on BET? Do you really think we're going to keep putting your name in lights? This is, read the paper, man. Re read the letter we gave you. See the letter we gave you, right? Stop bullshit. Get, you're going to do everything that we just did to him. Either you do or we're going to break you. What you mean you're going to break We're going to take all your money out your account. Oh, man, this bullshit. I got my rights. Nigga, you ain't got no motherfucking rights. We run this bitch. We, we decide who's going to be a star, who ain't going to be a star, who's going to be rich, who's going to be poor. Nigga, we do all of those things. Ain't nobody no fucking star. We decide who's going to be a star, who's going to be president, and et cetera. That's, where we, that's who we are. Now you know. Now you open, now you see, now you see that this shit ain't about no American Idol. This shit is deeper than American Idol. This is what you asked for. So what it's going to be, man? Come on, man, all of y'all. So he's already thinking about it. So he wound up sucking the one dude off. Then he sucked the other dude off. Then he sucked the other dude off. Now they Vaseline him up and pop him in his ass. And you're probably saying, that's bullshit. That's the way that shit goes. And then what they do, they videotape the shit. Why why, why would they want to videotape that? Y'all say to sell it later? now to keep your mouth closed. If you knew you done took three men up the ass and sucked two off, and they're real important men. Now, a lot of times, what they'll do while they're doing this thing to you, the men won't be recognizable. They'll have either mask on or they'll just have their face blacked out. It's the truth. 
Why do you think they do it? They put that shit in a special index box because if you get out of line, nigga, they're going to say that you was a homosexual, you was a pedophile, you did things that never got caught, and they're going to put this crazy-ass video on you getting boned by men up your ass and taking sperm all in your face. I'm telling you how it goes. They they let they letting you know he did that watching it's not exempt from getting ran up in his ass either. So a lot of people say, well, he got shot in his ass, but don't mean he went up. Then they watched him make twenty five million dollar picture. You can't make that kind of money if somebody ain't blowing you that's of the same sex. I'm just letting y'all know. Denzel Washington does not get a pass. Nobody in Hollywood gets a pass. And especially no Denzel Washington. With Will Smith. Will Smith had a relationship with Bina Medina. Bina Medina ran the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Bina Medina went up to Will Smith so much. Will Smith should be his wife. Okay, Quincy Jones did pop him, fool. He did pop him. Bina Medina had him too. Every t- they're all part of the same rituals, man. It's just not no one man thing. They pass you around just like a little woman. If you want to go in Hollywood, it's just not going to one guy get you. They're going to pass you around, all of them, because it's from one. It, it escalates from one step to the other. It's one, two. I don't give a damn. It's never over. Every time you do something, it's not like, okay, it's done. You did it the first time. Now, what you want to do, the, the, the sky's the limit. No. Nah. You, you want a cologne line, a perfume line? Okay. It take you back to that room and do it all over again. That's why they have rituals. If, if, a, if a mason who's moving higher up in a mason brotherhood, he has a daughter, he knows the rules. Somebody in the brotherhood wants your daughter. She could be 12, 13 years old. You try to persuade your daughter to have sex with him so he can be, be, be wed her and have a oh, child. Wow. It'd be smooth-faced dudes with glasses. Now, ask yourself this. Why do these dudes wear dark Gucci shades in the middle of the night? Because the eyes are the window to the soul. They're evil as hell, man. They figure with their glasses on, they can lie to you. You won't see who they really are. That's how they get down. They're sodomites. And they hide it not. You sign with cash money, you're going to do the same thing Soldier Boy did. You're going to do the same thing Bawa did. You're going to do the same thing that Waka Flocka Flavor did. What did they do after they got signed on, on these labels? They tattooed their whole body. Why do you think they do that, yo? Just to be different? Nah. They did that because they was raped. They, get, they ain't them to be in this truth of the music industry showing the honors to the, the, the people that's before them that's the truth of the industry that you're willing to take a man's penis in his anal that's the truth okay and when they did that they just didn't do it one time they was did multiple times and the only way they feel like they can get their dignity back is to tattoo their body to make them feel like I still have my manhood what you think they did the B12 man BK they raped them boys, man. They popped them in that immature. They raped them boys. They they literally raped them boys, dude. It's just the truth. Some people can handle the truth and some people can't. We don't care. But it's, it's time to start looking at things with both eyes open and not both eyes shut because the truth is the light, man. It's this cat that uh, want to be a part of the rap game so bad, man. He looked like he would kill his mama to get a, a hit record. Rick Ross signed this guy on YouTube. And when Rick Ross signed that dude, man, as wicked as Rick Ross is, now you know Rick Ross is wicked as hell. He did not want to sign that brother. When he signed, when that dude signed that contract with Rick Ross and, and Jew make a Rick, he did right on the point. He looked at that, that, that contract, man, he just shook his hat. But you can see in his eyes, he just had a look where all bets are off. Like, God damn, another brother gone. You see what I'm saying? But them demons got to be fed, man. He has to do it. He has to feed the demons. Meaning he got to keep signing. He got to find people who's vulnerable and dumb enough to want to sell their soul. Once you, once you get into the sodomite world of the word, you have to keep initiating. Why do you think he didn't keep bringing out new people? He's going to help them. He's going to give him one song and he's going to get rid of him. Where's Danny Kane yet? You can't be that successful. You can't be that successful and, and not be a part of their brotherhood. If they didn't follow the rituals, they could not get airplay. Did you know that? 
If they didn't have the right executives sucking them off and in return popping them in their anal, you know they couldn't sell records because the music business is a force, man. I forget how I went to shoot for this magazine and like the photographer, he was just like trying to get close to me. Like, yeah, you want to get in this magazine? They ain't put his <gasps> out. I was so mad and it's just like, this is crazy. How do you handle it? I was like, bugging. You know what? Get my I'm out. And you know what's so crazy? I told the magazine owner, and he just looked at me like, so, and? Wow. Oh, this is easy. They send the stylist at them first. Yeah. Yep. And if the stylist is like, if the stylist report back and be like, oh, he ready, then they invite you to the party. I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. And then next thing you know, you get invited to the party with the greeting is the man squeezing your dick. So, all right, let's keep it a buck. Did you did you actually see niggas get twisted to the other you side? You go to that, yo, you go through that, you go to that party. Like if you ain't turning around and you see everybody, you you see. Kind like this. These niggas that you see constantly hot, they're not getting hot because they like to get hot. They getting hot because they know what they done done, and they can't live with that shit for So, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all this from me. This is some real shit. This real shit, I'm telling y'all. Oh, uh, Will Smith shit. You feel me? Hey, man, that nigga Michael Jackson, bro. You feel me? That nigga Michael Jackson, bro. That nigga set me up, bro. On everything I love, that nigga set me up, bro. You feel me? That nigga is tripping, bro. That nigga be on some other shit, my nigga. Like, straight the fuck up. What are you talking about, my nigga? You raped me as a kid, you bitch ass nigga. You raped me as a kid and you raped all my kids, nigga. And you still trying to motherfucking get away with the shit, nigga. What do you mean? I'm sitting right here, bitch. Every time I see you, I want to slice your neck, motherfucker. You, you really, really have to understand what the Bible says, bro. It says, honor your mother and your father for your days are long, nigga. I ain't killed you for that reason, bitch. Don't you ever get on a motherfucking TV show and act like I'm the motherfucking rapist, nigga, when you rape me, bitch. She DM me and shit. So I've been talking to a few celebrity soldier, that nigga, he cool as hell, he subscribed to me on YouTube and shit. Based in London, cardiac guy, niggas like that, bro. Them niggas, they show straight love, bro. The whole ocean game, them niggas. Just out to my free, my nigga, Olaf Lear, man. He talking about this slime shit, man. This fine sale shit, man. Yeah, a lot of niggas hate because I'm in my fucking rich gang and shit. And you niggas keep trying to test me. Y'all keep trying to test me. Keep trying to see if I'm under the five and shit. But anyway, yeah, I was on media takeout on World Star and shit. Yeah, Birdman fucked me. He fucked me in that for the deal. I'm gonna be real. Birdman fucked me for the deal, man. I suck Birdman dick. Rich gang. This shit on my mom's face. Fuck Rich gang for. I fuck Bird for the deal. Bird. Bird. I want my money, Bird. That's all I gotta say. I'm trying to hit and quit me, right? Then you go block me. Bird, I want my money. I swear to God. Honey K, that's what I want. Oh, my God. We in the motherfucking building 2015. I put this on my motherfucking soul and heart. Soldier Boy is straight up bitch, faggot ass, dick sucking ass nigga, and he stole my swag. Fuck that love and hip hop Hollywood. You fuck trendies, nigga. You a real fat ass nigga, boy. You stole my swag. Give it. Say all you fucking rappers tried to play me, man. Birdman, your mama suck. Soldier Boy, your mama suck. Jose Guapo, your mama suck. Johnny Cinco, your mama suck. Young Mazi, your mama suck. Fuck all you fat ass, ass gay. Birdman for the deal. I got six nine with me. Six nine, you know me, nigga. Don't play, nigga. Special guy from Rich Gang, you know me, nigga. Six nine, slime. I'm my mama, that nigga know who I am. He know me, I'm my mama, fuck. Special guy from Rich Gang, you know, nigga. Stop playing on my mama. This my shit don't come out here. He out here with police. I'm out here one on one, my mama. We talking beat it one on one. I'm my mama, rock his on GD. You talking about? Whoa. Oh God. God, please help me out this situation, God. I'm tired of thinking about killing myself, God. I'm tired of selling my body. And I put my blood, sweat, and tears in this music.